one instant. Bad outlaw hunter here. Uh, he got shot and killed. He was a bad dude. And I caught him one time and uh, night hunting. And he ran from me. Him and two more. I caught the two and he jumped out and ran. That's up boarding all right. I can see his red light. I got him the next day, arrested him, made bond. And a few weeks later, I run into him and uh, this fella is a bad dude. He had whipped several law enforcement officers, had whipped people around here and put them in the hospital. He was a dangerous person. I run into him a couple of weeks later, and he said, You know, Billy, the other night when you was looking for me, he said, If you'd have taken one more step, you'd have been there where I was. I said, Well, are you threatening me? He said, Well, you just better be glad you didn't take that other step. I said, Hey, let me tell you something. I'm not going to fight you because you can whip me. But I got a wife and two kids at home, and I said, I'm going to go home and visit with them that night. If it ever happens again, I'm going to go home. I said, you're not going to make it. I said, if you ever pull a gun on me or threaten me, I said, I'm going to kill you right there. And he got shot and killed right up the road here and uh, because he was gone a friend of his, and the old boy pulled his pistol and killed him. But he died young. But you've got a lot of instances here where it's how you approach people uh, when they're violating the law. Your demeanor, uh, you know, you don't walk around with a pistol in your hand every time you arrest somebody and point a pistol at them. Say you're under arrest, you handle it the best way you can and uh, a good way, which comes with experience.